Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn iterative development model. So in the previous two tutorials, we have seen about the uh, waterfall development model and the V model and some of the advantages and disadvantages basically. So in the waterfall model, there were a couple of disadvantages because of which V model was introduced and even V model couldn't address some of the disadvantages that we you know used to have in the software development life cycle right so iterative development model came after uh, you know those methodologies had some of the drawbacks so say for example even with the v model what issues we had is even though testing was involved in each and every phase of the v model still the duration of the delivery or the value delivery uh, was pretty long so the if you if you uh, you know if you want to rephrase or uh, you want to see the v model so it was something like you had uh, you know the requirements and then the coding so there were a couple of phases there uh, in between so design development etc so uh, and then the testing was sort of parallelly so here there was user acceptance testing then there was you know system testing, integration testing accordingly, right? So testing was involved in each and every phase, but the duration was still lengthy, right? So duration was still long for the V model as well as it was in the waterfall model. Now, if you have a delivery in current scenario in the current dynamic scenario of the market conditions, you can't wait for delivering a software for, you know, like two years, okay? So you have to add the value or deliver the value to the customers pretty quickly and that is why you have to deliver software very quickly and in order to address those issues of delivery or delayed delivery to the customer iterative development model was introduced so iterative development model what they do is uh, you basically repeat the same cycle so for example in the waterfall we had certain phases right so we we had phases say for example in the waterfall say for example i if i say phase one right so waterfall we had the phase of requirements then we have design uh, then develop okay so develop uh, test and then deploy right and then maintenance so these were some of the phases right so what happened in the iterative development approach is basically they had these phases and these phases will be repeated so say for example phase one will have the requirement then design develop test and deploy so this will be sort of you know like a quick release of one to two months so every four weeks to eight weeks there could be, you know, like a, dip, a drop of software coming or deployment happening. And then the same cycle, so you see requirements, design, development, test, deploy, the same cycle keeps repeating. So there will be another phase or a release, so phase two, or a release to whatever the organization want to call it. And this whole process of requirements, so requirement, I'll say requirement, design, uh, develop, and then, you know, test and deploy, right? So all these, all the same phases, whatever we have seen in the waterfall model, except the maintenance phase will keep repeating in each of these iteration unless and until all the requirements that have been given by the customers are being completely built and deployed in different phases so there could be you know like five phases ten phases so you know there there could be multiple phases depending on how the complex software is and how many requirements you are trying to build so there will be another phase phase three starting right so this is how iterative development model works now, in iterative development model, there wasn't much change. The only change was basically to have shorter iterations or shorter cycles. And within those cycles, you fit a smaller waterfall model. Okay. So here, if you see, this is one cycle or iteration. Okay. So iterative came from iteration. 
so which is nothing but the duration of whatever you know weeks or months so it will be a shorter duration as compared to the waterfall approach so in waterfall approach it was mostly like six months to one year to you know maybe it will extend up to two years as well but in iterative it will come down to one month or two month depending on how the organization or project team wants to manage and then in the first iteration they'll pick certain features and they'll try to build some of the skeleton or the initial features then they'll pick another set of features in the second iteration right so second iteration and they'll build uh, they'll do the uh, you know requirement analysis and then design and develop test and deploy similarly this whole process will keep continuing like that okay now let's take an example of how um, the software will be built incrementally or basically with the iterative development approach now say for example you want to build a application um, e-commerce application which has the login functionality right so for example in the iteration one what team might do is they will say in first iteration we'll build the login page right so we'll build a skeleton so we'll have a login page okay and on the login page we'll just have the username and password field okay and the login button so that will be built in the first iteration so all this will be built tested and deployed okay um, then um, you know after this they want to add more features right or more requirements so the next what they'll do is they might add you know they they will beautify the page so they'll uh, add you know more css to beautify the page and then they might add forgot so forgot password functionality in the next iteration okay or in the next next phase so this is how they will keep incrementally adding more functionality in the iterations in the iterative development model so in the first phase they will be in the first phase they will do some features in the next phase they will add more features like forgot password you know uh, forgot username so all those features might be available in the next phase then they in the third phase they, they might pick more features so for example signing up with the google signing up with facebook account so those features can come in third phase but you, you can see the advantage here is that instead of waiting for two years to get the whole you know release or the software you can get the release very quickly so there is something working available for the customer to have a look how the implementation has happened and whether it is meeting the customer's requirement right so that was the advantage of iterative development model but the disadvantage is again it didn't address that phased approach right even though the cycle is still short but there is still phased approach so requirement need to be frozen then design will start then development will start test will start and then deployment will happen right so phased approach is still there but because cycle are reduced or there are more cycles so there is still a lot uh, better you know feedback loop in there now um, agile is one uh, you know development approach very recent uh, development approach which is basically scrum um, and agile is also or it also follows iterative approach right so there are sprints and then within sprints you develop small features but you shouldn't confuse that agile is exactly similar to what it, it, iterative development model is agile is a lot more as compared to iterative development model so it is similar but it is not same to iterative development model please note that right so do not get confused that agile or extreme programming they are you know similar or exactly same as iter iterative development model so they follow that cadence they follow that um, you know smaller iterations but there is a lot more in agile which i'll explain uh, in later tutorials as compared to iterative development model so in agile a lot more drawbacks that were there in waterfall approach in v model in iterative model as well they were being addressed and it's totally a different you know mindset and values that needs to be followed when you are following agile methodology or any agile development approach like scrum so that is all for this particular tutorial about iterative development model hope it was helpful and clear um, and will be helpful for you in your interviews if you are going for any interview and somebody asks for what is iterative development model 
whether it's similar to agile or what is the similarity and so all those things you can answer to the interviewer and even if you're working in any project it will be really helpful to know all these basics before you can actually become a really good tester so that's all for this tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching